This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Efron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Abru About Nothing. So last week, we missed our episode because I was away in GP Vegas, but I made it back and we are playing... Miraculous Mill. Miraculous Mill in Modern. And this deck, oh man, it's going to be interesting. We have had bad milling experiences in the past on Much of Brew About Nothing. But maybe the Miraculous part of the deck will make this build different. Maybe we'll get a Miracle and do some really cool things. So, like usual, going to do a super quick two-minute deck deck just as a refresher so you remember how the deck works. If you want to see the whole thing, make sure to follow the link down in the description to the instant deck deck where we have a full breakdown of Miraculous Mill. So, anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Miraculous Mill for Modern. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Much of Brew in general, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen it's a great way to support the channel and the site for free so let's talk miraculous mill so the idea of miraculous mill is we're kind of this weird wheelie jace's eraser mill deck so jace's eraser comes down early mills cards when we draw cards then we try to draw tons of cards and force our opponent to draw a bunch of cards with jace's archivist and reforge the soul which is basically not only milling our opponent a bunch with jace's eraser but also forcing them to draw a bunch of cards so it kind of doubles the effectiveness like if we have a bunch of cards in hand and we jace's archivist we're potentially essentially milling like 14 cards in one shot because our opponent's getting milled for seven and then they're also drawing seven so that's a lot of cards out of their deck it does not take many activations to make that work reforge the soul hopefully we're miracling it to cast it a little bit cheaper we also just have some traditional mill archive trap this is a small change from the instant deck deck the instant deck deck only had three archives archive traps with the fourth in the sideboard if you're milling people you gotta play four archive traps it is just the best mill card in the modern format so went up to four that's the only change i made to the deck so archive trap mills 13 jace's memory depth can be a card advantage engine with a little milling or just come down and mills 10 mills 10 mills 10 until our opponent's dead otherwise we have thought scour and visions of beyond to keep churning through our deck devastation tide gives us miracle number two bouncing everything kind of like super fog hopefully for just two mana if we can miracle it vapor snake both of these cards also sweet with our wheel effects so if our opponent has good cards we can bounce them back to our hand then we cast our reforge the soul or activate our jace's archivist make our opponent discard those good cards hopefully drawn to worse cards mana leak for a little defense against spell based decks which don't care about vapor snag as much in the mana base shell deck isle is pretty sweet if we can mill our opponent a bunch we can get one of our big wheel effects or an archive trap under it and use it to finish off the game once our opponent's library is low very budget friendly mana base i should mention this is a pretty budget friendly deck like $140 or something. So I didn't want to make tons of crazy expensive upgrades to the deck, even though it would make it more optimal, because I think the idea of this one is that it would be budget friendly. So I didn't want to add surgical extractions and scalding tarns and Jace and so on to make it like a thousand dollar deck, because that would just kind of defeat the entire purpose of Miraculous Mill. Sideboard wise, Rose, Bonfire the Damned, another miracle, and Essence Scatter give us some removal. Bonfire, great against small creature go wide decks, smell for artifacts, Tormod script for graveyards and that is miraculous mill for modern and that is our much brew deck for this week so thank you so much for watching <laughs> i hope you enjoy the gameplay videos and i'll be back in a bit with a wrap up all right oh my god triple archive trap <laughs> all right all right keep keep <laughs> crack that fetch opponent crack that fetch please please tell us your oh, oh it's another no search oh my god Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh, this draw would have been so good against like a huge percentage. Ah. Oh, and the miracle that we can't cast, I would go. Oh no. Oh. I thought we had the nuts, but oh, Affinity just never. I don't think they have a single card that searches their deck. Opponent gets in. Yep. Down to 17. Steel Overseer. I'll play Sulfur Falls. And yeah, I mean, I guess... I don't even know. I don't even know if there's a card we can hit that is relevant. Like, we can hit Devastation Tide to put a bunch of cards back in our opponent's hand. But because it's Affinity and all their stuff is so cheap, it's basically just a fog. Like, they just put everything back into play. All right. Down to 10. 
And we're literally dead next turn. All right. Well, I think this deck needs Field of Ruin. Actually, after this game, I am going to insert Field of Ruin. Definitely want Bonfire of the Damned. Uh, I guess Melt? Probably gonna have to cut Archive Trap. And probably Mana Leaks are not great. Uh, yeah, let's go down Mana Leaks. Just Miracle Central. And then we're hoping to win with Jace's Eraser, Jace's Archivist, and... <laughs> like, Jank, Jace Tribal. <laughs> Alright, we're on the play. Alright, we'll keep this. I mean, we got Cantrips. We have an Archivist that we're working towards. Phone it. Let's see how explosive their start is. Blink Moth Nexus. Mox Opal. Welding Jar. And Signal Best. And, well... Well, that's Thought Scour you. Pone has Thought Seize. Now we mill the Cranial Plating. That might be as much of a win as we get, milling one of our opponent's best cards <laughs> in this matchup. Takes Archivist. So now we got pretty much nothing going on. Sulfur Falls Go. Opponent. Darksteel Citadel. Rest in Peace. All right. I think this is the case that our opponent sideboarded as if... As if we were a real deck. Little did our opponent know <laughs> that we're playing Miraculous Mill. They're like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, we got to shut down the graveyard. They got to have Snapcasters, right? And Thought Seizes, they're probably like going to through the Breach us. We can't have that. So they brought in all their sideboard cards for good decks. And then uh, Miracle Mill. Glenn, that's great. Interesting addition. I guess that's maybe Control Sideboard card. Fires up Blink Moth. What do they get with Glint Nest? Ugh, Master of Ethereum. That's bad. Bad, bad, bad news. So opponent's going to get in for two. Yep. Down to 18. I guess we're going to need to hit Devastation Tide. Oh, this is the worst time for Bonfire. I mean, I guess we still do it. So mill our opponent. We don't have a way to put Bonfire back, so we might as well... I guess we're going to eat an artifact. We either kill the Signal Pest or kill the Welding Jar. All right. Answer is Welding Jar. So Bonfire hits our opponent for two. We play an island. Pass the turn. Opponent. There's Master of Ethereum. Sure. And Blink Moth. Gets in for a high number. We definitely are going to need Devastation Tide. That's Devastation Tide. All right. I mean, that does slow our opponent down a bit. So Devastation Tide. Bounce everything. Mill our opponent. We play Jace's Eraser. Play Island, pass the turn. Affinity can just rebuild so quickly. That's the that's the problem. Yep, Mox Opal. They'll probably be able to replay their entire hand this turn. I guess maybe not some of the hate cards, but those aren't really doing much. Master of Ethereum. Ornithopter. And Glint Nest. Goes digging. Finds Ugh, cranial plating. That's very bad news. Opponent passing. All right, so yes, we want to reforge the soul. So Jace is a racer. Cast Visions of Beyond. Mill our opponent. Reforge the soul. Get rid of our useless lands. Refill. Get a bunch of triggers. So do some milling. Yup, yup, yup. Play a mountain. Play Jace is a racer. Kill Master of Ethereum. Pass the turn. Maybe we got we got two Jace is erasers. There is a world where we win from here. Especially if we hit another Reforge the Soul. That's assuming we don't die to Cranial Plating. Alright, another Master. Mem Knight. Ink Moth. Signal Pest. Mox Opal. Legend Ruled. Ugh, Thought Seizes our Bonfire. That's not ideal. Oh, we really needed that bond. Takes a Smelt? Huh. Opponent gets in. Down to eight. Mill our opponent. Mill our opponent. Play Sulfur Falls. Doesn't this... Does this work? One, two... I think it does. So Bonfire X3. Sweep the board. We're still at eight. Opponent's got one card in hand. Oh, come on. Come on. They do have creature lads that can keep attacking us for the time being. Opponent comes it up! Ooh, we got there! We got there! <laughs> oh, man. Whoa! All right. Miracle Mill. Miracle Mill, Miracle Mill. Uh, it it kind of worked ish against Affinity. It works every once in a while. 
Uh, all right. I mean, I guess we run it back. All right. Uh, Vapor Snake, Thought Scour. Okay. Okay. I mean, this hand's not absurd or anything, but we can slow our opponent down a smidge. Ornithopter. And Signal Pest. We can slow our opponent down a little bit. But hopefully find Smelt Mana. So Island Go. Another Spire of Indus. Thought Seize. Well, I guess we just Vapor Snake, Signal Pest. I'm assuming they take Smelt or Thought Scour? Takes a Smelt. Or he plays Signal Pest. No attacks. I'll play an Island. Play Jace's Eraser. Pass the turn. So we get to start the milling. Definitely going to need to find some miracles. That's for sure. Opponent. Only getting in for one. They might have counters in their hand. Gets in. Down to 90. Signal Pest. Uh-oh. Ravager. Uh, double uh-oh. Well, there's red mana. Mill our opponent. Play Sulfur Falls. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Two Thought Scour. Just in case we luck our way into a miracle. Thought Scour, mill our opponent. Miracle. That is a miracle. Yes, we will Devastation Tide. We really need to avoid a Spell Pierce here. That would be very bad. Devastation Tide. It does make us pick up Jace's Eraser, but mill our opponent. All right, staying alive. I mean, our hope is basically to stall out and then eventually hit a bonfire. Signal Pest, Glint Nest Crane. All right, gonna wait on the Ravager. Finds a Mox Opal. Plays Mox Opal. And Signal Pest. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Combined bonfire off the top. Well, all right. I guess we we just fog again with Devastation Tide. <laughs> yes! Yes! Miraculous Mill! Oh, I... T I don't think that... <laughs> oh, that was a salty and some scoops. Oh, my God. I don't... I think there was maybe, like, 2% chance that we would actually win that match. I think our opponent just scooped out of annoyance and frustration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll take it. We'll take it however we can get it with uh, Miraculous Mill. So, oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. That was that was sweet. That was almost better than w actually winning the fair game. Just annoying our opponent into, uh, into submission. Like, I'm done with this. I'm done. No more. No more. <laughs> oh, sweet. All right. Much brew time. Playing some Miraculous Mill in Modern, and this hand's fine-ish. A little worse. Well, okay. So there goes our Thought Scour, I would assume. So Archive Trap has potential. If this is Hollow One, we might be milling over their Blood Gas, though. Reforge the Souls much better when we're miracling it. Yeah, we'll see. Does take the Thought Scour, and passes... That was not the best of draws. <laughs> the miracles are pretty brutal when they're sitting in the hand. Mountain for our opponent. And collective brutality. Maybe just Mardu Pyromancer. And what does our opponent take here? Takes Archive Trap. Alright. Oh no. Oh man. That was that is the worst. Mountain Go. Two miracles in a row that we did have enough lands to cast. Oh, miracles are such incredibly high variance cards. There's a planes. There's a Lingering Souls. Come on, deck. Something we can cast. Now, play the island. Run out the Archivist. Pass the turn. Archivist isn't great here because... We're going to have to Devastation Tide, I'm assuming. Before we try to Reforge the Soul. Uh, we'll discard one Reforge the Soul. Opponent is down to three cards. Blood Crypt. Tapped. Two cards. Gets in for two with the spirits. Down to 18. We'll play a mountain. Pass the turn. I mean, if our opponent doesn't have any more discard, we can just Devastation Tide into Reforge the Soul. That could be good enough. Opponent. Uh, young Pyromancer. Gets in with the spirits. Well, let's Thought Scour. Mill our opponent. Uh, more Lingering Souls milled. Okay. Thought Scour. There's a land. I'll play the mountain. How do we want to do this? Two cards in hand. Let's play Archivist. There is risk here. The risk is that our opponent 
is able to Thought Seize or otherwise make us discard Devastation Tide. All right, Dreadbore makes a token. Yep, gets it. Down to 12. Well, Devastation Tide, it's our only real option. Unfortunately, our opponent can rebuild amazingly quickly here because they can just Young Pyromancer and Lingering Souls. Young Pyromancer or Young Pyromancer Bedlam Reveler, also good. Opponent passes. Well, this is probably going to kill us, but we got to do it. Ugh. All right, pass the turn. Opponent's down to 33 cards. We do not have much in hand, though. Opponent goes attacking. Lightning bolts. Yep, makes a token. Lightning bolts. Yeah, the problem with wheel effects is our opponent also draws seven. Well, Vapor Snag, Bedlam Reveler. Drop to four. I don't see a way we can win this turn, though. Ugh. Even less ways we can win this turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that does it. The only slight bit of good news is we do get to bring in Bonfire of the Dams, which seem really good against our opponent's deck. I guess we could hit another... Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. We drew our opponent into Bolt, 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 Thought Seize, Thought Seize. It's pretty good. So our only way of staying alive is to hit another Devastation Tide. Archivist, and we scoop it up. All right. All right, all right, all right. Lots of discard, lots of discard. Well, Bonfire is good against what our opponent's doing. So bring in Bonfire. <sighs> Tormod's Crypt might be necessary, although it's not... What are we going down? Maybe we just go down Mana Leaks? Uh, Tormod's Crypt is so awkward. It would be much better as Relic of Progenitus, but it is the... This is a budget deck, which is why I'm assuming we're playing Tormod Crypt in the sideboard. So I didn't want to unbudgetize it. That just seemed against the spirit of Miraculous Mill to just play like Jason Mind Sculptor, Relic of Progenitus, all these other Blood Moons, all these other expensive cards. It would fit really well in the deck. Fetch lands, shock lands, etc., etc. But it felt like that defeated the, the purpose of it. So I tried to keep it close to the original. Did move the other Archive Trap in the main, though. And move down one Jace's Erasure. All right, Miracles. Try it like that. All right, we're on the play. All right, uh, we got mana to cast our things. Island Goo. Our deck does kind of want to be able to hard cast Miracles, so Black Leaf Cliffs. Inquisition. Well, let's Thought Scour mill our opponent. And Blank that Inquisition. Hopefully we get this Archive Trap value eventually. Opponent's been doing a pretty good job of playing around uh, searching their library, but their deck does have a lot of fetches. Another Black Cleave Glyphs. And... Brutality. Brutality discards a fetch land. Takes Archive Trap. Yeah, I can't really do a thing about that. Opponent passes. Well, we had enough lands deck. We had enough. We do not need to keep drawing them. <laughs> Thank you. Now there's the fetch land. Opponent cracks it. Blood Crypt, untap down to 19. Oh, Goblin Rabble Master. That is a really good sideboard card against us. We're going to need to find a bonfire here pretty quick. I'll play a mountain, pass the turn. I guess we can just Vapor Snag the Rabble Master. Thought sees, yeah. I mean, Vapor Snag Rabble Master. Opponent gets to take our Devastation. Well, we're down to literally nothing. We have no non lands in hand. So this is where we need our miracles to come through. We're up to a massive 12 miracles after sideboarding. Uh, Rabble Master's back. Yep. All right, deck. Give us these miracles. Opponent gets in. Down to 15. All right. Well, I mean, that is a miracle. I think I would have rather had Bonfire, but this does temporarily slow our opponent down. Land go. We need a vehicle, uh, a wheel or a... Potentially a bonfire, depending on how this turn goes for our opponent. Sacred Foundry untapped. Rabble Master returns. Only two cards in hand. I think our opponent knows that we are on mono lands. Gets in with the Goblin. All right, well, I mean, we are wheeling. It is super risky because our opponent's also going to draw a million cards. Ugh. That was less than ideal. Play Archivist, play Shelldock Isle. Guess we take Devastation Tide. I don't think we're going to live long enough to cast it, though, with our opponent. Ugh, opponent discards on Lingering Souls, too. Bolts are Jace's Archivist. Yeah, the wheel effects are much better if we're killing our opponent. Inquisition takes Jace's Eraser. 
just gives our opponent so many cards. All right, so, so I think the wheel helped our opponent more than it helped us. By a pretty big margin, actually. Faithless looting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the risk of wheeling. Sometimes, sometimes it just kills you. Opponent gets it for a lot. So I guess we need bonfire this turn to maybe stay alive. All right. Well, not bonfire, but this does <laughs> fog our opponent for a turn. Solve for falls, go. Rabble master. Lingering souls. All right. We need the bonfire. We need the bonfire. Mountain. Down to seven. Come on, bonfire. One time, deck. One time. All right. So now our only hope is instant speed bonfire or devastation tide, I guess. We will play the land. Pass the turn. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Give us a miracle. So opponent, I guess we do it now. Actually, making the goblin doesn't matter. There's nothing else we can hit. All right. We'll do it in combat. We don't want our opponent to be able to replay their stuff and attack us. All right, Thought Scour, Mill you. Miracle? <laughs> I mean, it's a miracle, but it's the wrong, it's the wrong one. So we get to draw seven. We get to draw three. Vapor Snag, Rabble Master. We just draw our opponent so many cards, though, that it's likely we're dead to a bolt. All right, opponent gets in. Maybe that's a reason to do it main phase. Oh, there's a lot of risk and reward if we did a main phase and hit devastation tide then they just replay rabble master and hit us anyway and there's the bolt and i mean we can draw more cards we drew a lot of cards we did not win there's the bonfire way at the bottom all right all right all right miraculous mill wrong miracles at the wrong time all right much brew about nothing time <sighs> playing some miraculous mill in modern and uh, this should be interesting. We will see, we will see. Opponent leads on an island. No fetch land for our archive crap. Uh, well, let's island go. So, basically, looking to cast some miracles and mill our opponent? Oh, dear. Oh, dear God. Um, okay. So, milling our opponent's probably helping them. That's not ideal. Oh, so much cycling. And our opponent finds a land... I'll play a mountain past the turn. We do have two archive traps. We can't play Jace's Eraser because we need to counter as foretold if they have it. A borrow. Yep. Opponent passes. Oh my god. Three archive traps. That is a way we can jank our opponent out. We do need our opponent to search the library at some point. Mountain. Let's play Jace's Eraser. <laughs> 13, 26, 39 cards milled. Opponent lets it go. If they never search their library, though, this isn't going to work. All right, runs out Nimble Obstructionist. Opponent goes attacking. Yep, down to 17. Well, Mana Leak as foretold. Opponent passes. Now mill our opponent. Play Jace's Archivist. Pass the turn. Oh, man, we really need our opponent to, to search their library at some point. Opponent gets in with Obstructionist, yep. Down to 14. Cryptic. Bounce Archivist, draw a card. Cycle Street Wraith, and passes. Well, mill our opponent. Replay Archivist. Pass the turn. Come on, come on, fetch land. Telaria West, transmute something. Opponent runs it back, bounces, draws, plays Telaria West. They are not interested in... Ugh. Well, mill our opponent. They're not interested in searching their library. Play Archivist. Watch us just lose to Nimble Obstructionist. Play the mountain, pass the turn. Cycles, cycles, land, ancestral suspended. Opponent passes. Well, mill our opponent. Oh, no, we don't want a devastation tide. Mill our opponent, pass the turn. Ancestral taken down, opponent. Gets in with Obstructionist, sure. Down to eight, cycles. All right, so I think what we do is cast Visions of Beyond. In response, Archivist. Opponent has Disallow. Well, there goes all of our Archive Traps. Oh, they disallowed the Archivist trigger. All right, mill our opponent. Mill our opponent. Now what? Run it, oh man. Run it back? Visions of Beyond. Archivist. Opponent remands the visions of beyond. All right, so we go wheeling and milling. Mill, mill, mill. Uh, is there any chance this works? So mill our opponent a bunch. Unfortunately, this leaves our opponent with a lot of cards in hand. 
Place all for falls. Pass the turn. Ancestral. Ticking down to nine. Opponent does need to not let us wheel here. Or we should we will win. Down to five. There's as foretold. Ancestral. Okay. Are we gonna win this? Is it actually it might actually be happening? <laughs> uh okay. Archivist. It was not beautiful, but I think we're winning. If we untap with this archivist, we win. Unless our opponent has disallow again. And they do have like a million counters. All right, uh, mana leak, leak your cryptic. Untap win. Miracle mill. <laughs> Miraculous mill. Okay. Uh, yes, that worked. I have no idea, no idea how that worked, but it did somehow. Well, let's bring in Tormod's Crips. Man, these archive traps were so sad. We had like the nut draw with archive traps, but we just couldn't find. Our, our opponent just wins her library. I guess that's maybe just one of the matchups where that's going to happen sometimes. Uh, what are we going down? Maybe like two Vapor Snags. Maybe one Archive Trap. Maybe one more Vapor Snag. Normally, if they're living, if they're casting Living End, having a Vapor Snag isn't going to save us. So let's try it like that. Well, at least we're up a game and we get four Tormod scripts. So there might be a world where we steal this match. Eh, we'll keep. Unfortunately, Reforge the Souls in hand. And thought scouring our opponent's not the best of plans. Ancestral suspended. Well, island. Thought scour ourselves? Oh my god. Alright, pass the turn. Hmm. Yes, yeah, is a tough one. We don't want to give our opponent's creatures for their living end. But we also need to mill our opponent out somehow. More ancestral suspended. Mountain goo. Oh, our mana. Our, our budget-friendly mana base. So many basics. Pona, taken down. Playing Teleria West. Blue source would be good here with the triple archivist. All right, there's there's a blue source. So let's run out to Jace's archivist. Pass the turn. Opponent's deck is not great at dealing with things on the battlefield. Field of Ruin. I guess I can cryptic bounce, but... Eh, I guess Jace also does it. Jace, bounce. Yep. Opponent passes. We'll play Archivist, play Mount, pass the turn. Opponent's gonna start drawing a million cards though here. Ancestral draws a million. Yep. Jace continues the bouncing. As foretold that we can't answer. Bajukabog hits our graveyard. Opponent passes. Ugh, Sheldock Isle. We'll play Sheldock Isle. Untap land would have been more helpful there. Take the Tormod's Crypt, get rid of all the lands, and all we can do is keep playing Archivist. Uh, yeah, not feeling super comfortable with where we are now. Opponent cycle. Takes up as foretold. Draws. So our opponents just more than refilled their hand with these ancestrals. Up to eight cards with a Jace on the battlefield. Cycles. There's the living end. Yep. Opponent gets back a million creatures. So now all we can do is untap cast Devastation Tide. If our opponent has a counter, then we concede the game. And they just drew an ungodly number of cards. So having a counter seems likely, but we'll see. So opponent... Plays a land. Passes. Well, I mean, we will attempt it. So, Devastation Tide. Opponent counters. All right. Pass the turn. Well, we did win a game with Miracle Mill. Opponent gets in for a million. I mean, I guess in theory, we could top deck another Devastation Tide. And our opponent could have no counters. Hoping for the, like, 0, 0, 0 0.1 percenter. Opponent, yep. Double scries off the cycling. Jace is, puts a card on top. Well, that should do it. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Tormod's Crypt, not relevant now, and we scoop it up. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, Jace, good magic card. Um, Yeah, run it back, I guess. I think that's all we can actually do. All right, we're on the play. This hand is interesting. Lots of miracles stuck in hand. We do have Tormod's Crypt, though. Yeah, I mean, I guess we keep on the strength of Tormod Script. These Devastation Tides can be good post-living end if our opponent's tapped out. Let's Sheldock Isle. Definitely going to need to draw some lands. Well, there goes all of our lands. Oh, we needed you. We needed you, lands. We needed you. All right, pass the turn. Opponent cycles Street Wraith. Plays Teleri West. Come on, lands. Well, draw a card. All right, there's an island. Play Tormod Script. Pass the turn. Opponent. Island. Ah, oh, they have so many counters. Play the mountain. Play archivist. Gets countered. Oh, not countered. All right. Opponent has dismember. Some sweet sideboard tech. 
Well, we gotta hope they don't have as foretold, or things go bad super quick. Bajukabog, sure. Opponent passes. Oh, play Sulfur falls past the turn. Probably just going to have to cycle this Visions of Beyond. Opponent's passing. Yeah, let's Visions of Beyond. Play an island. Let's pass. I think we need our opponent to tap out for like a Jace or something. All right, Nimble Obstructionist. Less than ideal. Opponent. Gets in with Obstructionist. Does not look super interested in tapping out. Well, Thought Scour our opponent. More lands. I'll play an island. Thought Scour our opponent. Opponent dispels. I mean, we gotta try it. We're probably not gonna get a better chance than this. All right, opponent. Man, so many counters. <laughs> oh my god. It is infinite counters. Opponent draws a land. Gets in with Obstructionist. Yep, down to 14. And there's the Jace. And I think this one's over. Uh, maybe we should have kept holding it. I mean, we played around a lot of their counter. They have so many, but opponent was tapped down to two mana. I guess we can cast a Devastation Tide. It doesn't do a whole lot. Replay Tormod Script. Play a Mountain. Pass the turn. We need, we need a Miracle. We need a Miracle off the top. Jace, back again that's our like pseudo out but it's gonna be hard with our opponent uh scrying all of our good cards to the bottoms uh and giving us lands gonna make it a little bit challenging to draw a good card well archive trap so we milled some stuff opponent still has a jace though they're untapping with jace which is so bad for us there's the as foretold also so bad for us takes up making sure we don't draw anything good leaves something bad on top we don't have any fetches to shuffle thanks to the budget nature of our deck. A we'll place all for falls. Play Devastation Tide. I mean we could hit we could hit a a miracle. We need a wheel. Opponent. Jace just makes it so hard for us to ever hit a miracle. We have so many bad cards that we're basically hoping they scry to the bottom and then we have a good card on top. To the bottom. Alright. Well, this is like a pseudo window. Come on, miracle. Come on, miracle. Opponent's got a discard. It's more Tormod scripts. So we're not going to lose to our opponent's graveyard, but we are going to lose to our opponent's Jace. Takes up to the bottom. Opponent. Well, this is a semi-awkward matchup since we can't actually use our archive traps. As for Told's back, opponent passes. Well, I mean, that's not the miracle we were hoping for, but it, it does annoy. It does annoy. It is a miracle. <laughs> it does annoy our opponent slightly. Opponent remands. All right. Devastation Tide. Tormod Script. Tormod Script. Pass the dirt. Ah, oh, we need the red miracle. We need the wheel. The problem, like, bouncing could be great in some situations, but it's just not super helpful against our opponent's deck. All right. Living End. Nuke the graveyard. We don't have any creatures in our graveyard, unfortunately. Opponent passes. We draw an island. Pass the turn. Opponent just said they've put three Reforged the Souls to the bottom. Well, now they are shuffled back in. Although our opponent does get to immediately replay Jace and keep scrying them to the bottom. Opponent, no fear. No fear of the mana leak. Takes up. Leaves a dead card on top. Play Tormod Script. Pass the turn. Oh, so we actually were close. I will give our deck credit. For our opponent not searching their library for Archive Trap, we actually were fairly close to making this work. And also our opponent... Just totally wrecking us with this Jace. And a million counter. Like, everything about this matchup is absolutely horrible for our deck. And we got within, like, getting lucky once of having a chance. Well, play Eraser. It's going to be too slow, though. Or too countered. Cryptic, counters. Pass the turn. Yeah, Jace Mind Sculptor. Pretty, pretty good against our deck. Free as foretold. Takes up Jace. To the top. Opponent passes. Yeah, Mana Leak doesn't do anything. Pass the turn. Free Nimble Obstructionist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we put up a good fight, and we actually won a game with Miracle Mill, Miraculous Mill, so we'll, uh, we'll take it. It is possible to win a game, even in a really miserable matchup. Opponent gets in. Down to 11. And passes. Um, all right, pass the turn. We're going to stop on our opponent's upkeep and thought scour, because we could hit a Miracle. Mill our opponent. Opponent dispels all right yeah i think that does it because our opponent's going to be able to jace ultimate to the top yeah to the top means they definitely can it's definitely over it gets in with obstructionist well miraculous mill got a game and fought a good fight so 
eh, we're not gonna win. Another mana leak. All right, Jace Ultimate kills us. Eh, eh, it could have been worse ish for Miraculous Mill. All right, much brew about nothing time. Playing some Miraculous Mill in Modern, and that seems fine ish. No miracles, which is kind of good. We don't really want miracles in our opening end. Opponent's going to six. So we can Thought Scour. We do have an Archive Trap to get things started. Ooh, opponent's going to five. That's what Miraculous Mill wants to see. <laughs> the more mulligans, the better. Opponent scries to the bottom. Let's just Shellback Isle. Take Reforge the Soul. Pass the turn. Opponent. Oh, it's Infect. All right, Glistener Elf. That's bad. Oh, play Sulfur Falls. Pass the turn. I'm not sure there's a way we beat Infect ever. Might have old Prosa. All right, well, Vapor Snag. That does help. We draw. Eraser. Oh, play the Island. Play Jace's Eraser. Pass the turn. Now we just got to mill at Lightning Speed. Glistener Elf back. Opponent passes. Well, let's Thought Scour. Mill our opponent. Jace is Eraser, mill our opponent. All right, mill some pump spells. Mill our opponent. Yep, we did not mill a land in all those cards. Play Jace's Archivist. Pass the turn. Opponent. Ugh, not a fetch. Blooming Marsh. Opponent Thought Seizes. All right, well, there goes Archive Trap, I assume. Takes Visions, interesting. All right, opponent gets it. Hits us. Yep. Okay, pumps. So we take two, in fact. Opponent passes. Well, mill our opponent. Play a mountain. Pass the turn. Opponent. Goes to combat. Attacks. Yep. Well, we'll take it. Opponent pumps. Up to four, in fact. Uh, more Glistener Elf. Well, hardcast archive trap. Mill our opponent. Opponent passes. Mill our opponent. Hmm. All right, let's just pass... This, we have a pretty good hand for this scenario. Opponent, Ranker. All right, so Mana Leak Ranker. Opponent, goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. So block with Archivist. Opponent pumps. We Vapor Snag. Take one. And now we get to wheel and mill. This might, this might kind of be working. Ugh. All right, no, we can't use that. Mill our opponent, mill our opponent, mill our opponent. Mill our opponent. Mill our opponent. This might work. This might actually work. Unfortunately, all of our miracles are in hand, but... Opponent's down to 20 cards, which turns on Reforge the Soul. Mill our opponent. So play the land. I think we just win here. I think if we... Reforge the Soul... To draw seven. Get a bunch of triggers. The combo! It's the combo! We're actually going to be in fact. Mill our opponent, mill our opponent. This is actually going to work because then we can just Jace's Eraser to to win the game on the spot. Wow. Miraculous Mill actually going to take down in fact. That seems unlikely, but it is actually happening. Play Jace's Eraser. Archivist. It's a combo. Opponent dead. We milled him out. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Uh, I thought our odds, I mean, our opponent did mulligan a lot, but I thought our odds of beating, in fact, were pretty close to zero. But it actually worked out. Um, huh. I still think our odds of beating, in fact, are pretty close to zero. That just happened to be the, the zero percenter coming through. Bonfire seems helpful, although I think we mostly have to race. Maybe go bonfire, bonfire, go down. I have no idea what to cut. Maybe we gotta cut the Jaces for two bonfires. Yeah, let's let's try it like that. Try it like that. Uh, okay. We got we got Thought Scours. We'll keep Blooming Marsh for our opponent and Thoughtseize. All right, there goes Thought Scour. Well, Shoutok Isle, take Reforge the Soul. Pass the turn. Opponent, Overgrown Tomb. Untap down to sixteen. There's Glistener Elf. Opponent passes. We'll play an island, and yeah, we're going to play Jace's Eraser. I mean, if we're dead, we're dead. Hopefully the answer is no to us being dead, but it is in fact, so you never know when we're just straight up dead. There's a Ranker. Yeah, that's annoying. Opponent's leaving up this one mana, which makes me think they have, like, Blossoming Defense or some other, some other way of ruining our day. Opponent passes. Mill our opponent for one. Play Sulfur Falls. 
Eh, Vapor Snag the Elf? We gotta do this on our turn because of Blossoming Defense effects. Yeah, there's Blossoming Defense. Well, let's Thought Scour. Mill our opponent. Mill our opponent. Uh, yeah. Odds of us being dead are very high now. Pass ye old turn. Hmm. All right, opponent. Are we dead? I think we're dead to any two pump spells or... All right, opponent has Thought Seize. Well, even if we're not dead, I guess we just need to hit a Miracle, like a Devastation Tide or something. That doesn't really win us the game, but it would buy us a turn. Opponent. Yep. Takes, chases Archivist, gets in for three. Uh-oh. This feels like Become Immense. And that is Lethal Infect. Our deck does not have very many very many ways of interacting with this. Um, all right, run it back. We gotta be faster, although our deck is so slow. Oh, Miracle Mill. <laughs> Raising Infect is such a long shot. Well, that's two Archive Traps. That gives us hope. If our opponent just cracks the fetch land, we can mill a lot of their deck, and these Mana Leaks are relevant. So Island Go. Really rooting hard for a fetch land. That would make our day much, much better. Also, no Glistener Elf would be nice. That's a fetch land. Okay. But opponent's not cracking it yet. Well, Thought Scour our opponent. Archivist. Play Solve for Falls. Pass the turn. So we can actually counter most of the infect creatures. Can't deal with Ink Moth, but Overgrown Tomb tapped. Well, Archive Trap you. Archive Trap you. Pass the turn. We milled one, two, three. That is a lot of Ink Moss milled. Plague Stinger. Well, we will counter that. Opponent's down to 22 cards. This might just be the draw that can do it. It's possible. Land. Island. Archivist. Now our opponent has to kill the Archivist. They have cards that can do it. We see the Abrupt Decay. If we untap with this Archivist, though, oh man, oh, this would be the steal of the century if we could steal this win. Reforge the soul off the top would be absurd. Land for opponent. Cracks it. Overgrown tomb. Tapped. Uh, are they just triggering fatal push? All right. There goes our Archivist. Come on, reforge the soul. Miracle? Sulfur Falls. All right, Sulfur Falls go. Opponent's out to 20 cards. Visions of Beyond is insane. Reforge the soul is insane. Another Archive Trap is getting close to being insane. We're in catacombs. All right, Mana Leak, Phyrexian Crusader. Come on, deck. Give us a Reforge the Soul. Give us a Reforge the Soul to steal this win. Come on, you can do it, deck. Reforge the Soul. All right, another Mana Leak. Well, we're keeping ourselves alive. Our opponents, uh, we're like one, one good card away. Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Plague Stinger. Uh, yeah, let's Vapor Snag. Come on, deck. I'll play the island. Oh, no. The problem is it only takes one threat and maybe one turn to kill us. And <sighs> our opponent's got the one threat. Oh, deck. If you ever, if you ever loved us, give us Reforge the Soul. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I thought we had a chance. Oh, our dreams. Our dreams are dead. I would not be at all surprised if we were just literally dead this turn, even through a mana leak. There's a ranker. Can't do anything about that. There's a Ranker. So that's half of our life total in Infect. Might of Old Krosa. Well, we got a Mana Leak, or we're just dead. Technically, we would have been at 9 Infect, but still too dangerous. All right, deck. Last chance, deck. Last chance to be a hero. Land. Come on. Come on, deck. Oh, one turn too late. Wow. And that's game? That's just, it's game. Oh, Miraculous Mill was so close. We needed a miracle and we couldn't find one. And uh, and that does it. I mean, they just attack and we're dead. We're at five, so. Uh, not this time. Well, we put up a surprisingly good fight against Infect. Better than I would have ever, ever imagined. We were really one draw away for that whole game. Ugh, sweet. All right, much brew about nothing time. Playing some Miraculous Mill in Modern. And we'll keep this. <laughs> These are the cards in our deck. Cross our fingers, hope for the best. Uh, Miraculous Mill. Uh, yep, keep. See what our opponent's up to. Oh, God. Uh, okay, game. <laughs> I think it's game. 
Uh, if you want to add one card to this deck, the first card you should add is Field of Ruin and maybe Ghost Quarter. So, some of those. Not only does it give us a chance against Tron, but it's also helpful with our Archive Traps in case our opponent is not playing any, any ways to... Ugh search their library we can especially field of ruin forces the surge some bad miracle timing well play the land past the turn surgical extraction so this is a budget build of the deck there's a lot of things you can do non-budget that would make the deck more competitive perhaps the biggest is, or one of the biggest is probably surgical extraction since we're milling cards we mill and then we extract what we don't want and that's a way we could just like if we milled that mind and had surgical we would have just won the game or well, we are playing Miracle Mill, so saying we would have just won, that might be going a bit too far, but there's there's a chance at least that we would have been able to just steal the game. So opponent cracks, searches our library. So they are going to have Tron. We are going to get to mill our opponent a bunch. So Archive Trap you. Um, oh, this is Eldrazi Tron? Or maybe it's, I don't know, this is a unique build of Tron. We see Ugin and also Reality Smith. We need a couple more cards in our opponent's graveyard to get full value on this Visions of Beyond. Opponent has lots of mana. Witchbane Orb. Oh dear. Well, one of the upsides of Miraculous Mill is we do have things that don't care about Witchbane Orb. Like our wheel effects don't care. We don't have to target our opponent. So it's not just straight up game over. I mean, we're in super bad shape because our opponent has a million mana but we're not just straight up dead opponent's up to 17 cards we need three more in the graveyard for visions bone end all right passing i'll play a mountain play jace's eraser oh huh this targets oh jace's eraser oh my god uh i guess we should have read that better i mean it's fine milling ourselves is not a <clears throat> real detriment here like, we're not going to mill out before our opponent, I hope. And we're going to Devastation Tide at some point. All right, there's a Reality Smasher. Opponent goes attacking. Yeah, we'll take it. Sylvan's crying. Well, we might as well at least Mana Leak. Mostly just to get cards in our opponent's graveyard. Opponent passes. All right, we got to mill ourselves. I guess it doesn't matter. We just choose no. All right, play an island. Oh, uh, God. Pass the turn. Devastation Tide at full price isn't that great, because our opponent has so much mana. Another Tron piece. Oh, boy. Ulamog. Yep. Hits two, both of our red sources. Well, Mana Leak Ulamog. Vapor Snag Reality Smasher. Discard Devastation Tide. Lose two lands. Now if we draw a wheel, we can't even use it, because we got no red mana. Opponent passes. All right, no mill. Play Archivist. Pass the turn. Archivist isn't bad if it lives. I mean, this is assuming our opponent doesn't play Karn, Ugin, Ulamog. There's a lot of big things that just beat us. Eh, that's Ugin. All right. Uh, yeah. We just, we can't beat Ugin. Exiles all of our stuff. Yeah, we're just going to scoop it up. There's, there's not any way we get out of that situation. And, uh, we don't have any sideboard cards. Uh, Miracle Mill. So, we have won a a match with Miracle Mill. So it's not the worst against the odds deck of all time. It's been rough though. Um, It's been rough. I feel like the deck can be upgraded. There's definite upgrades that we can make to improve the deck, but I don't know if any amount of upgrades would make it good. The plan is just very high variance. I feel like a traditional mill deck might be just like mill as fast as possible. That might be a a better way of going about it. It's really cool when the wheel effects work and we draw them at the right time or Jace's Archivist lives. We got some cool combo kills with those effects, but definitely an against the odd style deck and having no sideboard cards against Tron is the saddest of stories. All right. Uh, hopefully they don't put together Tron quickly. This hand is pretty fine for our deck. It's got a lot of our... our I, I'm doing finger quotes. Good cards. <laughs> uh, um, uh, are any of these cards... What do we want most? I guess Archivist is the highest upside. 
I don't think we're going to win this match without taking some risks. We got to take the highest upside choice every time, even if it's more downside. Because odds of us winning without doing that are just so incredibly low. Opponent passes. So play a mountain. Play Jace's Eraser. Pass the turn. Urza's Power Plant for our opponent. So turn three Tron. Going to be assembled. And it is going to live forever since we have no way of interacting with it. Millichromatic Star. Play Solve for False. Pass the turn. We do get to fire off this archive. Oh, no, they just have Natural Tron. Ugh. I was thinking we'd at least get to Archive Trap. Sanctum of Vugan. So opponent's taking the slower path. No, mill our opponent. Path to Exile. Play the Island. Pass the turn. So we can Mana Leak our opponent's first big threat. So Expedition Map assembles Tron. Gets the Mine. So Archive Trap our opponent. Mill. Ugh. A World Breaker our opponent can get back. There's the mine. Opponents down to 33 card. All right, Ugin. I'm assuming they sack Sanctum. Yup. Gets an Ulamog. Well, we will mana leak. So we're not 100% dead. Mill our opponent. Down to 31 cards. Play an island. Play Jay's memory adapt. This mills 10. So zero. Mill 10. Down to 21 cards. Okay, pass the turn. Oh, come on, no Ulamogs. We're like adjacent. Uh, also, no tower for Ulamog, yeah. Oh, there's the tower. That's very bad news. Ugh. Oh, uh, that's an Ulamog. Yep, hits a racer. Gets an Ulamog. Opponent passes. I'll play a mountain. Play Jace's archivist. Pass the turn. Oh, this is going to be interesting. We really need our opponent to not have a big follow-up here. Or removal. Another Tron land. Ugin. That's bad. Kills Archivist. Opponent. Gets in. Mills or exiles a lot of our deck. Yep. So we get to play this Archivist. We're down to 10. I mean, we got to go for it. So, Sheldock Isle, Cast Archivist, Untap. Are we going to end up like a card short? Oh my goodness. So, we put Archive Trap on the stack, then we wheel. Man, I wish we had a Ghost Quarter or Field of Ruin. Uh, I think we end up one short. So... I guess we got to draw a Thought Scour. So we cast Archive Trap. With Archive Trap on the stack, we wheel. We need Land Thought Scour. Actually, Vapor Snag. I think Vapor Snag. <laughs> Unless they have like Double Reality Smasher. I think this Vapor Snag saves us. Opponent draws our last card. Smasher. Oh no. Goes to combat. Vapor Snag Ulamog. I think that does it. I think we did it. Whoa. Oh, we do such cool things some small percentage of the time. We just beat Tron with Miraculous Mill. I mean, a game, not the match, but still. With no Tron hate at all. Not a single Tron hate card to be seen. I don't think there's a way they can kill us. I guess if they had land second Ugin, they could Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. Oh, come on. Tell us we got there. Come on, deck. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And a bulls scoops it up. We did get there. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible to beat Tron with zero Tron hate. With Miraculous Mill. All right, run it back. Run it back. All right. Well, we got an Archive Trap. We got a Jace. We got a Thought Scour. We'll keep it. We got a Mana Leak to not die to the first thing our opponent plays. There, I guess there's a world where this could work. See if our opponent scries top. Hopefully. I mean, we're milling them either way. They scry bottom. Tower. And expedition map. All right. Well, it looks like turn three Tron will be a thing. Oh, that's another archive trap. All right, pass the turn. Two archive traps gives me hope. Slight hope, but hope. Uh, turn three Tron. Opponent's passing. 
Well, Thought Scour, mill our opponent. Devastation Tide, not especially helpful. Play the island so we can leave up Mana Leak, pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Yup. Gets a missing Tron piece. So now we free Archive Trap, mill 13. Free Archive Trap, mill 13. Pass the turn. Opponent's down to 24 cards. There's Tron. Mana Leak Reality Smasher. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Give us something good here. Now well, there's a Mountain. Play the Mountain. Play Jace's Archivist. Pass the turn. Oh, hopefully this lives and we get to wheel. Oh, uh, Ulamog Mana. Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. That's bad news. Gets rid of Archivist. Not sure why our opponent didn't just Lightning Bolt it, but... Opponent passes. Oh, play Sheldock Isle. Take Jace. Play Archivist. Pass the turn. Ugin's pretty powerful. Another land for our opponent. We really need them to not have anything else big. Kills Archivist. Opponent... Oh, come on, land. We need a land. There's a land. Play Jace Memory Adept. Zero. There's a world where this works. We have a second Jace. We have a second Jace under Sheldock Isle. No Ugin. No Ugin for one turn. Oh my god, are we going to beat Tron with Miraculous Mill? Oh, come on. Come on. Chromatic Sphere. We're F6-ing. We can't do anything about it. We got a shot. We got a shot. Oh my goodness. No Ugin. No U or Ulamog. No Ulamogs. No Ulamogs. One's milled. Two's milled. Oh, come on. Come on. I guess Karn also could get rid of Sheldock Isle. Opponent's down to eight cards in hand. They can Ugin away our Jace. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have him dead in multiple ways. Opponent passes. Million for 10. Thought Scour. Draw a card. Pass the turn. We beat Tron. We beat Tron with Miraculous Mill. The odds of this are so, so well. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's some actual power in the deck. I guess there actually is. Oh my goodness. We did it! We did it! Oh my goodness. Wow. Pass the turn. Opponent draws, dies, and... Miraculous Bill! <laughs> Looking at the deck, there is a roughly 0% chance. I was giving the, the eulogy for Miraculous Mill, but after game one, I did not think there was a chance, but... There was not only a chance, it came true. We did it. We we won against Tron with Miraculous Mill with zero cards that are good against Tron. Wow. Well, technically we finished two and three in our game somehow, which is kind of a, a miracle in and of itself. Uh, Yeah, well, we'll talk about it in the wrap up. There are definitely some things that can improve the deck, uh, but it's kind of eh, not the worst ever for a budget deck. Sweet. So what do we learn this week about Miraculous Mill for Modern? And overall, we played five matches. We won two of them. So finished essentially with a 2-3, which is not a great record, but it did show the power of the deck. We got a salty scoop against Affinity where they just got sick of us devastation tiding over and over and over again. Scooped up the entire match. We also beat Tron of all things, which is maybe the most against the odds thing that has happened in a long, long time, because we do not have any cards that are good against Tron. No way to interact with lands, very few ways to interact with big planeswalkers. So that was a miracle in and of itself that we beat Tron. We also saw the downside of the deck. We lost quickly a lot of times. We stole some games here and there, but against, like, in fact, it's just so hard to actually keep up with that with just four Vapor Snags and very few ways to interact, because we have a deck full of cards that are based on kind of this mill combo package. Jace's Eraser, Jace Memory at Epri, Forge of Soul, Jace's Archivist, even Archive Trap. Those are all cards that don't really impact the board. So if we run into a matchup where our opponent is just going curve out, play a bunch of creatures, attack you, attack you, attack you, like we could try to stall them out with Devastation Tide. We also saw this against Affinity. Like, sure, we'll Devastation Tide you. And they're like, all right, fine. We'll untap. We'll replay our entire hand. We'll attack you again. So the deck, it was better than I thought it would be. Heading into this, I was thinking this might be mono blue Blue Mill Part 2. If you remember Mono Blue Mill, it is, I think, the most infamously bad Munch of Brew deck we've ever played. We did not win a game with it, I'm pretty sure. I know we didn't win a match, but I think we actually went 05-010 and did not win a single time with Mono Blue Mill. It was that bad. This deck was definitely better than that. We saw that with two match wins and a couple more game wins thrown in to our matches. So, for a budget deck, I think it is not great, but it's functional, and it is super cool when it goes off. The Jace's Archivist combo kills, Reforge the Soul 
combo kills, and we do kind of have a free win. Like, sometimes we just have three archive traps in hand, and we're just like, mill you, mill you, mill you, and our opponent's dead. So we do have the chance to just pick up those free wins, and I think the deck is very, very upgradable. So I think, as far as upgrades to the deck, the biggest one is Field of Ruin, or maybe Ghost Quarter. I think Field of Ruin is the best. So we ran into some trouble uh, against Affinity, for example, where we actually had what I thought was a nut draw with three Archive Traps in hand, but our opponent's playing a deck that literally has zero ways to search their library. So having Field of Ruin in the mana base not only gives us a way to deal with a Tron land, deal with a creature land, a flip search for his contour, whatever, but it's also a way to force our opponent to shuffle their library because they have to search their library, and that means they have to shuffle their library, which means we get to cast our archive traps whether our opponent wants to or not. And we saw a lot of opponents, once they figured out what we were doing, they tried really hard to play around archive trap, not cracking fetch lands, or waiting to draw a Thought Seize first to get rid of our Archive Trap to crack a Fetch Land. So people really do play around it. So having Field of Ruin to be able to mess with our opponent's mana and turn on Archive Trap would go an incredibly long way. The other thing is the sideboard definitely is a very budget sideboard. Uh, Tormod Script, kind of just bad Relic of Progenitus. It's fine for budget, but that would be an upgrade. The biggest card we were missing in the sideboard that I think would be awesome, I guess there's actually two, but one of them is Surgeon. Surgical Extraction. In a mill deck, Surgical Extraction is just super insane because if we're playing any sort of combo-y spell-based deck, which is probably our worst matchup, like Devastation Tide, Vapor Snag, can kind of deal with creatures, but if our opponent's just going to Storm Off or Scape Shift or something like that, a lot of our cards just do literally nothing. So having a way to deal with that by milling our opponent with Thought Scours, with Archive Traps, and then picking off their combo pieces with Surgical Extraction would be a huge upgrade to the deck. Also, this deck can easily support Blood Moon, especially if we added in some more fetches. But even without fetches, you could run Blood Moon in this deck as is. There's enough islands in this mana base that you could definitely just run Blood Moons in the sideboard, and it would be very good. Snapcaster is another good addition, so there's a lot of steps forward you can take with this deck. Would that make the deck into a competitive modern deck where you're going to, like, 5-0 leagues or anything? Probably not. The deck is extremely high variance. That was my biggest takeaway. It was better than I thought. That was takeaway number one. Takeaway number two is the deck is just super high variance. We had, we had a lot of games where we were drawing our miracles and we didn't have mana to cast them, or we'd need a miracle and not not draw them. So there's a lot of just like clunkiness to the deck, but there's also a lot of super sweetness and a reasonable amount of power when things go right. Sometimes we just Devastation Tide, play Jace's Archivist, we'll mill our opponent out out of nowhere. So we did some really cool, really exciting things. So I think the bottom line for Miraculous Mill is number one, it's more competitive than I thought, but it's still not super competitive. Number two is tons of upgrades that would make it better. But even if you went full non-budget and played like a thousand dollar version of this deck with snapcasters, with jaces, with blood moons, with surgical extractions, with fetch lands in the mana base, it's still going to be janky. Like, would it be better? Yes. Is it going to be 5 0 leagues? Probably not. So I think it's a really fun, unique deck. It's a budget-friendly deck, so if you want to give it a shot, especially with the small upgrades, with Field of Ruin being the biggest one, I think, and cheapest one that you can add to the deck to improve it, I think it's good enough that you can have some fun with. Uh, definitely going to be inconsistent, so don't expect to be winning your FNM with it, but if you want to do some really cool things, draw tons of cards, mill tons of cards, uh, not a horrible option for the modern format, especially in the budget categories. So, anyway, that has been our Much Abroof for this week. Miraculous Mill for Modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.